Hey everyone and welcome back to my nursery. Today I have another little video for you. Um, this video is going to be about how to care for your silicone reborn. So I have my full body silicone baby here. This is baby Nathan and um, today I'm going to give you collectors or future collectors of uh, silicone reborns some helpful hints on how to care for your silicone and some do's and don'ts that you're going to want to follow because I've made these mistakes being a newer uh, silicone collector um, I got my first silicone last October and that was baby Emma and I did make some very easy to make mistakes when I had her nothing that was going to ruin her or harm her but they're just things that I learned along the way that you should and shouldn't do with your silicone. So we're going to get started. I'm going to do a little changing video with him and as I change him, we're going to go over some of those things. So the first thing is, is like I said, when you first get a baby, in the last video, <laughs> I did a, a vinyl reborn video. You can go back and watch that. Um, on how to care for your vinyl reborn but the first thing when you first get your baby if you're like me you're gonna want to hold that baby cuddle that baby undress the baby check everything out and you're probably gonna want to change your baby into some new clothes um, for me I also when I get a brand new baby especially if it's a silicone baby I always want to especially with everything that's going on um, I'm gonna want to bathe that baby and or if it is a previously loved baby like little Mr. Nathan, I wanted to give him a bath when he came home so he was all fresh and clean and I didn't have to worry about any viruses or germs or anything on him. So um, I made sure I got baby towels and baby washcloths ahead of time. Um, I did um, make sure that I had something to lay him on that was soft. It was like a little um, kind of like a bath seat that was very gentle and soft that I could put him on so that he was not on any hard surfaces or anything scratchy. The bottom of my tub has like um, non-skid or slip resistant bottom and that could have been very scratchy for him so I did go out of my way to make sure that I got him um, a little special you can do like a bath mat or a bath sponge or lay a towel down or something um, you only want to use plain water that was mistake number one for me with Emma I did use some mild um, baby soap it was an all-natural soap um, but I have been told since then just plain water you don't want to bathe them very often only if you absolutely have to if they have buildup we'll get into that um, so just some plain water it needs to be like very room temperature water because you don't want that hot water to um, interfere with their paint or their um, silicone can be affected by heat so you just want some room temperature water um, and just use plain water and like maybe a little baby like a soft um, washcloth or just your hand was is fine just splashing water on them you don't really want to rub them silicones are more sensitive to their paint being rubbed off since they can't be varnished the same way as a vinyl doll so you don't want to rub them you need to be even more gentle with a silicone doll than with a vinyl reborn so um, I'm gonna get him changed into a little outfit I'm gonna pick out a couple of things for him really quick and um, I'm going to start undressing him as we're talking, but um, I just used a very soft baby towel and patted him dry, and um, <clears throat> when you wash your reborn, your silicone reborn, you have to powder them. You have to mat them so that they don't have shiny skin and feel sticky, and you want to buy ahead of time because not all um, of your artists... Um, are gonna send matting powder with your silicone. Um, the only kind of powder that I use for my silicone, it has to be special powder, it can't be baby powder. Even if you've seen other people on YouTube using it, that was mistake number two with Emma. Her artist did not send any care sheet with her or um, any silicone powder. And I also used like a Burt's Bees all natural um, powder. I was just told not to, you know, just to use regular, um, 
talc free powder so um, that's what I used on Emma but I since learned you want to use silicone velvet on your baby you can get this at www.siliconevelvet.com and I am not sponsored by them this is what you need to use you have to because if you don't the powder will break down the silicone over time so you don't want to use any kind of powders that should not be used with your silicone doll um, when you're also um, powdering your baby you're gonna want to use a um, powdering brush so you just want to get like a um, a makeup brush similar to this one something really soft and you're gonna lightly dust them with powder and you've probably seen me powder him before in other videos he doesn't need any powder and I'm not going to powder him for this video because if you powder them too much and by the way this is expensive I'm not gonna lie um, it is not cheap. You don't want to use that up, uh, powdering them all the time and have to spend that kind of money. But, um, you don't want to cause a lot of buildup on them. It will cause like a powdery buildup and it will turn them like white in color and make them look very chalky. And, um, then you're going to have to bathe them again and you don't want to do that too often. So, um, ever since, and that's, that's another thing, the silicone velvet is worth the investment because when you use regular powder, you do have to powder them more frequently and then you will get a lot more buildup and it end up becoming a vicious cycle of baths and powdering and buildup. The silicone velvet lasts forever. Like once you put this on them, it takes very little. You don't have to use a whole lot, just the tiniest bit. Um, I keep mine in here. This is actually some like I already this is a pretty big pack um, And I already have some of it in here So I just put a little bit in this little container to use for him and I dip my brush in it and I powder him with it But um, I've only had to use that one time. I've had baby Nathan since January I want to say January I think since January he, uh, he's almost been with me for like nearly I want to say five months and I've only had to use that one time and that's crazy because with Emma I was having to do it like every other changing with her it was a lot um, I did have to powder her a lot I only bathed her twice but I did have to powder her a lot and twice was a lot because I only had Emma for two months so basically every four weeks and because I wasn't um, changing her every day or anything like that she was maybe getting a changing once a week um, I don't even do that with baby Nathan you don't want to change your silicones all the time because if you do change their clothes all the time those changings will rub on their skin and it will rub off their paint and whatever protectant that they have on it um, you just you don't want to change them constantly it's just not good for them so um, you're going to want to be careful when taking their clothes off. You don't want to pull or tug or drag the clothes over their skin. I am even more careful with um, my silicone babies as to not drag the clothes over their skin. I just try to pull their um, little limbs out. And you want to be very careful with their fingers and toes, especially if they have really loose fingers like he has separated fingers. People pull and tug on these little fingers and they pull it right off. They'll just pull, like just, you'll tear the silicone. So not only are you trying to protect their paint, but you don't want to rip or tear your silicone baby. So um, you have to be so much more gentle um, with these babies than with a vinyl baby. Um, silicones are not cheap. Neither are reborns, but silicones cost way more money. We're talking hundreds of dollars for reborns and thousands of dollars for silicone dolls. So you don't want to damage your silicone. You don't want to um, scrape the paint and wear away the paint that they have on them. Um, you just want to protect them as much as possible. So um, you will also notice that I always keep some kind of booties on Nathan or some little mittens on him because I just don't want um, those areas to wear away faster, which the hands and the feet do. And I also don't want um, 
little baby parts getting pulled off. It's that would not be cool. <laughs> Let's just say that would not be cool. Um, so also with your silicones, you're going to want to make sure that when you pick their clothes out ahead of time, you may want to go up a size, um, like get bigger sizes is okay. Like if they wear, um, if like he's a smaller newborn, so I get newborn size, but he can also fit in zero to three months. Um, but it will make it easier for you to change them and not pull on them if you buy some bigger sized clothes that aren't going to be too tight fitting. You don't want anything that's going to mark um, your baby's silicone. Like his socks are very loose. Like I pick out socks that don't have a lot of elastic. They're not tight. I go a size up. That way they're not squeezing um, his silicone and marking it. Um, you're going to want to wash the clothes ahead of time. Make sure you're not getting dark colors. Dark colors like black and dark blue and things like that are going to um, bleed onto your baby's skin. Woo, there's a storm outside. I just heard some big thunder. So just be careful of dark colors. You don't want to use dark colors on your silicone. And make sure you wash the clothes really, really, really well. Um, and as far as shoes go, I never put shoes on Nathan. I always use like little booties, um, any kind of soft type shoes that I can find for him. I don't want anything that's too tight on him um, that's going to tear his silicone. Um, also with diapers, I had to go out and buy new diapers just for him because my other diapers like my honest diapers they were a little more abrasive and the huggies they feel super super soft they are just super fuzzy and soft so i choose to use huggies snugglers um the little newborn ones and they have the belly button cut so it's not scraping or cutting into his little belly button um i also went out and got some cloth diapers um, I ordered these on Amazon and wanted to try them out, but it seems kind of bulky for him because he's like a smaller newborn size. And But this was super soft on the inside. I know a lot of people use these um, little diapers, and I liked this one. The reason why I picked out this one, not only was it absolutely cute, but I liked that the middle could snap down because... I like to see his little belly button, but also I don't want anything scraping it or wearing off the paint on it. So you may want to invest in some of these if you find some that you like. Once again, um, I try to keep a onesie on him as well. So I have these little onesies. They're a little bit big for him, but like I said, I like them nice and loose. So um, all of his clothes are pre-washed, like I said, and he has rooted hair, and um, this was Del Delta Dawn mohair. It's very fine, very soft, um, and there's no way for the artist to glue it in, the hair in, like the lashes and the hair from the inside of the head because he is solid silicone. So when you have a vinyl reborn, they have hair that's rooted, and the artist will go inside of that hollow head before they put the baby together and weight it, and they will put like E6000 glue from the inside to hold the hair in place so that you can brush it without it falling out really easily. You can't do that with silicone, so you have to be very gentle with their hair and be careful when you dress them. And another big thing too is if you collect vinyl reborns, you need to keep your silicone baby's clothes and blankets and all of their items. I keep mine in a bin that you can see right here. I keep all of Nathan's stuff in a Rubbermaid bin. Um, his stuff is completely separate from my other babies, his blankets as well. And like if I lay him on the boppy, I put his own blanket down because I don't want him touching it. It's apparently they can't be touching. Their stuff can't be touching. It will cause a really bad reaction between the two. Um, silicone and vinyl don't mix. So he has all his own bottles, pacifiers, clothes, blankets, everything, diapers, all go in this bin for him. Um, and they just belong to him. He also has his own... Um, 
chair that he sits in, like a bouncy seat, and nobody else uses that bouncy seat. So we are gonna go over some hair care, and we're gonna talk about pacifiers as well. Um, silicone babies, you only wanna use silicone pacifiers on them. Um, you want the, the mouthpiece, especially if they have an open mouth. He only has a partially open mouth, so I do modified pacifiers on Nathan. But if you have an open mouth um, silicone baby, you want to use silicone nipples on the bottles and on the um, pacifiers because you don't want it, once again, to have any kind of a reaction between the two. So you're also going to want to keep your silicone babies out of the heat, out of the sun. You don't want to put them in a hot car or leave them there, once again. Um, you don't want people to think that you have a real baby in the car that you've left there um, and break your windows because they will they'll break your windows to get in and I don't blame them they think it's a real baby so they will break into your car I'm gonna try to find some matching mittens for him for this outfit you're gonna want to put some little mittens on him before you put any long sleeve clothes on if you put the mittens on first, it will help you pull their hands through without breaking off their fingers. And you're gonna wanna like scrunch up the sleeve and put your fingers through like this. And then you're gonna wanna hold on to the hand and then slide very gently their little sleeves over. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. This just keeps you from ripping off any little baby parts. I know that sounds scary. It is. It's totally scary, especially when you've paid this kind of money. So that helped me guide his little hands through. So they were nice and safe. He looks so cute. Um, I'm going to show you some um, hair care items that I have for him. Um, once again, you can use, you know, a little brush. Um, you may want to use like a soft makeup brush to um, brush down the hair. Like I said, he has really fine hair. Um, you're going to want to be really gentle. If you don't have that, you can use plain water. Once again, um, you want to use plain water on your baby for their hair. You don't want to put any chemicals on them. And you can use a soft baby brush too to brush their hair. Um, but I try to avoid the face and the, the silicone as much as possible. I just, if I'm going to use one of these um, baby brushes, I just try to only brush the hair and not um, brush the silicone. I don't want to scrape their paint or leave marks in their silicone from the bristles on the brush. So be very careful with that. Um, also, like I said, I do like to use um, baby cologne to make my baby smell good. So um, I'm going to just put that in my my hand once again, like I do with the vinyl babies, and just rub it together. And you can put it on um, some of their their little items just to make them smell good. You don't want to drench it or anything like that. Um, baby Nathan has a lot of his own. Um, I keep a bag of his own uh, pacifiers and stuff and his like little passy clips. He has all kinds of little pacifiers for him. He doesn't have, um, like I said, a wide open mouth. So I will either use modified pacifiers on him that I created for him. Um, and those go on just like that. Or if I don't want to use a passy at all on him, I will just put a cute little silicone passy clip, like a Ryan and Rose pacifier or something, and I will just clip it onto his little outfit just for looks. And then he's got a cute little pacifier for pictures and things like that. So I hope this has helped you guys um, with a few tips and tricks. If you have any of your own and you are a silicone collector, if you have thought of anything that I have forgotten in this video, please share it down below in the comment section for everybody to see. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a longer video, um, but I think it's super important to know 
um, how to care for your reborns and for your silicone dolls before you get them in advance so that you don't make the same kind of mistakes I did with my first baby. So I will see you guys on the next video. You guys take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye guys. Oh,